Friends and subscribers, here's the situation. You're an expat in China, and Chinese New Year Spring Festival is approaching. You have an option of staying, but there is no work for about seven days, maybe ten days. Nothing to do, no work. So, what do you do? You decide uh, to go abroad. You decide to leave China for the holiday. You have some options. You have Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, all very close to China and easy to get to, well, so to speak. Only problem is during the Chinese New Year holiday, there are no tickets. It's a mad rush everywhere. So, high speed rail, no tickets. Plane tickets, three times the price because of supply and demand. That's very Chinese. So, that's probably not worth it for such a short distance. So, I'm going to choose the long distance bus. Long distance bus, long and slow. Quite cheap but uh, not exactly the most comfortable thing. The only other options are a walk or motorcycle, which would be fun, but I don't have a bike, and uh, that's uh, probably for a later time. So, long distance bus it is. Uh, let's see how it is. Long distance bus ride all the way to Vietnam and across should be an interesting adventure. Looks like I'm taking one of these. Big buses, lots of room for cargo, no extra baggage fee. You can store as much baggage as you want, and believe me, the Chinese take advantage of that. Well, it's not as bad as a train station, but at least, uh, you know, there is Wi-Fi, which makes it uh, a little more bearable. <laughs> Now this I did not expect. It's a sleeper bus. I thought I was getting on a regular bus, but uh, this is a sleeper bus. No shoes allowed. And you got a bag for your shoes and a compartment. And I'm going to be on these bunks here with a bunch of other people. And this is really different, really strange. Um, I guess uh, with no bathroom in the back, um, you're kind of left to your own defenses if you got to go, you know, one or two or, you know, something coming out the hatch from food poisoning or whatever. So that's it. Check it out. They even got a big semi with motorcycles on it. Uh, some of the migrant workers and some of the uh, motorcycle taxis drivers, they have to go home for the holidays. And many of them drive it, but some of them don't and they'll just put it on these uh, semis and they'll uh, ship those motorcycles back to their hometown or wherever they're going to go and they'll take a separate train or bus but uh, definitely an experience I can't say that I'm enjoying myself but uh, this is a typical rest area stop along the long Chinese highway uh, the sleeper buses are all lined up and I am the only foreigner here. So, overnight on this thing, how was it? I wouldn't recommend it for anybody. Um, not comfortable at all. And the bus stops several times throughout the journey. And a couple times they stop for a one hour apiece. I don't know why, but uh, definitely not something that you want to invest time, energy, and money into.